on Cajun Cardboard coming at you from the great state of Louisiana and I will be very straightforward and transparent. This is a pep talk video. I want to give you guys some optimism. I want to make two real points about the hobby so you can uh, step back from the ledge and reassess and feel a little bit better about what's going on. Uh, you know, two main points. Number one is it's not just the sports card hobby that's in the sewer right now. It's not just the sports card hobby that's in a bloodbath when you look at prices. Um, you know, I consider myself a realist with a hint of optimism. I'm always going to try to see the positive side of things, the silver lining. I'm a glass half full guy, so I'm always going to try, but I'm not, uh, you know, so optimistic to the point that I deceive myself. And so I just want to kind of give you guys some good news. I'm not going to blow smoke, you know, blow sunshine up your ass and, and you know, spew rainbows here. But uh, two things that are it's important to remember in the middle of what I think we could all agree is a relative down market for the sports card hobby is number one it's not just a sports card hobby look around look at the crypto look at the e-trade look at other alternative asset classes uh, look at 401ks look at IRAs it's not pretty and it's not pretty anywhere so this is not a sports card specific problem that should give you a little bit of comfort being that you are a constituent member of this great hobby that we know and love it's not just sports cards that are going down. It's not like, um, you know, someone would give you the advice, hey, pull your money out of sports cards and throw it into Ethereum and it's going to fix all your problems. No, everybody in crypto is getting their ass handed to them. Everybody's E-Trade portfolio looks like crap. You know, other alternative asset classes are also not doing well. So that's number one. This is not a sports card hobby specific problem. That should get you a little bit of comfort. In other words, I don't think, or at least I am not aware of any magical place out there where you can go put your money right now, where you can earn the types of returns that we have been earning in the sports card hobby. Uh, so I don't think moving your money from the sports card hobby somewhere else I'm not doing it. Again, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not a financial planner. Uh, you know, I do have a business degree uh, and a law degree. And my, you know, my business, my undergrad degree was in finance. So I have a little, a decent grasp of numbers and finances and markets and things like that. But uh, honestly, I've learned more from the sports card hobby, um, you know, market than I had, you know, that I ever learned in four years in, uh, in undergrad study in business. But uh, that's the first point is that it's not just a sports card hobby specific problem. It's not just sports cards that are on a death march here. It's everything else. Here's number two, and this is the reason to be the most optimistic. And I'm gonna use Card Ladder to kind of uh, shed some light on this and kind of maybe better explain it. And so in Card Ladder, they've got these indexes, right? And so I've got uh, a couple of indexes pulled up and I wanna kind of show you what I'm talking about. So uh, we know what cards have done in the last three months, six months, one year. It's not good across the board. It's extremely red. And so look, here's all the indexes, right? Card Ladder now has expanded to where they've got indexes for hockey, Pokemon, baseball, pre-war, vintage, entertainment. Look at how many of those are red over the last month. All but three. I don't even know what outlier means, to be quite honest with you. Uh, let's look at, that's monthly. Let's look at quarterly, three months, same thing. All but three are red, right? And those three are the card ladder 50, which is like 50 huge cards amongst various sports and uh, even non-sports cards. Outlier, which I don't know what it means. I could click it here. Let's just click it. The methodology for the outlier index is simple. Include every card that fails to qualify for card ladder's traditional indexes. So maybe that's cards that don't fall into any of these other indexes, it sounds like. And then culture 51 is... 51 cards hand selected by Zero Cool. It sounds like a DJ. Uh, DJ Zero Cool selected 51 cards that best represent the culture market, whatever that means. Again, does I don't care about it. Doesn't matter to me, right? Uh, it may matter to somebody watching this video, so it is you know to each his own. Uh, but I've got pulled up. I wanted to look at the modern. Okay, so I've got modern. Okay, so that's football, baseball, basketball, hockey, <coughs> soccer, culture, uh, entertainment, blah, 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 fill in the blank. This is strictly an index based on the age of the card and when it was released. So it's 1984 to 2008 cards, everything, right? Uh, that's down over the last six months. It's down 29%. Bad. Uh, over the last year, it is down 28%. Bad. But let's take one step further back and look at the two-year index. It's up 78%, right? It's up 78%. And human beings by nature have a recency bias. So we're hyper-focused on the recent events, right? Even going back as far as a year, we're hyper-focused on what my stuff used to be worth and what my stuff is worth now. 
This is a reminder to take a step back. Let's look at ultramodern, right? Because I think if you ask most people, we would say, well, ultramodern's gotten hit the worst, right? Ultramodern high end, ultramodern low end, uh, ultramodern base prism, ultramodern graded, not great. Ultramodern has been slashed, right, uh, to death. Over the last six months, down 30%, terrible. Over the last year, down 20%, terrible. But even ultra modern, if we back out to two years, right? We are in November 11th, 2022. We're going back to November of 2020. This is post COVID pandemic outbreak, right? This is November. This is eight months after the pandemic first hit, right? I think it was like in March of 2020, right? So up 41%, even ultra modern is up 41%. 41% is an insane rate of return on any investment in a two-year period. Uh, and that is with a 30% nosedive over the last six months. So uh, again, modern, two years, great. Ultra modern, two years, great. We have to take a step back in a big picture. Now, uh, this pep talk, right, uh, reminding everybody it's not as bad as you think it is, is probably not going to help those people who have no liquidity uh, in not just the hobby, but in life. They're going to need to liquidate assets to pay bills, to pay rent, to pay gas, to do whatever, and all that stuff costs more. So I can't fix the world economy, right? Uh, but remember my first point. This is not a sports card hobby problem. This is a world problem, right, in all asset classes and in, in just life in general. Uh, let's keep looking. Uh, basketball, over the last two years, basketball cards are up 58% over the last two years. <clears throat> baseball cards and this is a look this is a 7,625 card index basketball was a 13,000 almost a 14,000 card index so this is not just Jordan this is not John Morant this is not Kurt Rambis uh, this is not Matthew Della Vadova this is like 13,971 constituent parts that's pretty diversified right that's Kareem that is uh, Jalen Green I mean you fill in the blanks with 14,000 different cards this is a pretty good picture about would we like 130,000 of course but the folks at card ladder are not robots right uh, so basketball is up 58% over the last two years baseball another huge index up 110% baseball's doubled over the last two years and that is with you know, the last three months are down. The last six months are down 10%. The last year in baseball uh, is actually up. I mean, baseball's really bucked the trend. And I don't give a damn. I don't collect baseball cards. I don't watch baseball. I played college baseball, but it's just too slow for me. I can't do it. Um, but uh, again, positive, positivity. Take a step back. How about this? Football up 100 and freaking 70% over the last two years. Now, football, I know, has gotten murdered over the last six months, down 35%. Uh, over the last year, down 25%. It's getting hit probably the hardest over the last six months, right? What was basketball? Basketball over the last six months is down 24. Football is down 35 almost, right? Uh, but maybe it's getting hit the hardest because it went up the most. It went up 170% over the last two years. That is a staggering amount of money. Uh, that is a huge increase in value. Uh, what about hockey, right? Hockey is kind of the forgotten fourth sport. I don't have soccer pulled up, but I got hockey pulled up. Look at hockey over the last two years. Hockey has actually been really steady. It's only 1349 cards in the index, which means it's more likely that the most important hockey cards are included in the index compared to like basketball. Basketball is going to have, yes, the most important cards, but also it's going to have the cursory cards as well. Hockey, probably not so much uh, because the card ladder folks, that the size of this index is significantly smaller. Uh, but even despite that, up 117% over two years in the hockey market. Over the last six months, it's flat. Over the last three months, it's you know basically flat, right? Um, so this is just something I kind of wanted to share with you guys to you know use these indexes sometimes to just talk yourself off the ledge. It is not just sports cards. That's number one. And number two, everything that goes up this fast must come down. Again, I'm not coming at you from a Warren Buffett. I, I don't have any experience in that. I'm just your average dude trying to feed my kids, pay tuition for my kids' education, you know, keep gas in my car. I want to grow my collection, you know, but we've got to remember we were really spoiled the last two years. And I'm not just talking about in sports cards, you know, stock portfolios, IRAs, 401ks, crypto, sports cards of any type, 
obviously we looked at six index or well, six indexes right there they're all preposterously uh increased over the last two years uh so we were a little bit spoiled from a liquidity and a turn time and, and you know how many x is it going to go up in the next six months those these are over man um but what we want to see is a slow and steady if you look at these indexes and you see it on two years and you drew a line from point to point it would be a steady increase if we drew a line it would be a steady increase if we drew a line in basketball over the last two years it would be a nice steady actually a healthy increase if we drew a line here over the last two years for baseball a nice healthy steady increase the reason that people are panicking is because it wasn't a steady straight line from left to right it wasn't slightly up and to the right it was a mountain that was created we've all seen the same charts go compare crypto go compare your you know your stock portfolio you know blue chip stocks penny stocks uh nasdaq that what compare it it's going to look the same it might be a little bit better or a little bit worse depending on what the constituents are of those indexes but it's pretty much the same thing fellas and uh and ladies so i just kind of wanted to throw this out there uh, again i don't want to sound overly optimistic to the point where people blow me off but sometimes it does help um, you know, take a step back and look at the indexes and, and they are what they are, um, you know, and here's some positive stuff. So uh, hopefully I made your weekend, right? I'm going to release this thing on a Friday. I want everybody to go out and go have fun, go have a good weekend and, uh, and feel comfortable being a member of the sports card hobby and the sports card community because um, all of these clicks lately, and I've talked about this with my friends on the Luca Nation Network, what gets clicks lately is uh, scandals, fraud cheating turmoil lies and i'm just sick of hearing it i'll be quite honest with you i'm like i'm done with it man i i don't care what this ceo did or said i don't care uh about you know this content creator how much they hate this content creator I, i'm just done with it and so uh like i said i'm gonna have tunnel vision here i'm gonna focus on my portfolio i'm gonna start doing some intense research here and i'm gonna make some decisions i'm about to release another video where uh, kind of explaining why it's okay to sell in a down market. Um, you know, if it gets you to your ultimate goal in this hobby, uh, it, it's, it's going to be okay to sell. I'm going to do another video on that in just a second and give you some details about what I did in 2022. Um, because 2022 was in the hobby, my most profitable year that I ever experienced. Right. And that is a year that we just looked at, which was a nosedive bloodbath death march from the top of the mountain, you know, to who knows where. We don't know where the bottom is, but hopefully this video was good for you guys. I'm rambling now. I just wanted to spread some positivity. Uh, again, I'm not an expert, I'm not a financial advisor. I never purported to be. Uh, I just think sometimes it's good for people to hear good news. And so I um, figured I'd share some with you guys. It's not just a sports card hobby, and it ain't as bad as you think it is. If you take a step back and look at the last two years, it's actually quite impressive rate of return in sports cards regardless of the sport anyway as always i appreciate your time guys i'd like to get your comments below because some of you guys are financial planners right some of you guys are crypto specialists some of you guys you know uh you know run massive you know some of you guys are investment bankers some of you guys spend your life doing the things that i only just talked about on a very cursory basis some of you guys are huge baseball collectors or huge hockey collectors please comment and let us know uh, you know, give us some positive stuff. Uh, if you want to kind of poop on it and be negative, that's fine too. Uh, everybody's entitled to their opinion. Um, but, um, you know, I've heard enough of the negative. I don't know about you guys. So, uh, as I always end every video, keep collecting, stay positive in the hobby. Peace.